this United States Marine Corps Humvee versus a Mongolian Pony. Both can carry troops and material over long distances. Both allow for ranged combat and movement. Only one though with a plentiful renewable fuel resource. Only one accepts head paths and only one conquered mainland Asia. Plus they kind of just make themselves. Can't even imagine how much labor goes into making one Humvee. And if you look back the Mongolian ponies have a much better track record. Who would win in this battle? This Victoria ship with a hole 260 feet long and 60 feet wide. It was also heavily strapped with diagonal iron riders and was the first British battleship with two funnels or one shooty boy with big booms. It is actually kind of funny how easily we would just tear that thing up nowadays. I will say you might have to dodge all these cannonballs though. But speaking of vessels, this video is sponsored by World of Warships. This is a free to play naval warfare game with new content released every month. Sometimes you get new ships, new nations to play as, cosmetics, or even different ship classes. There's already been several updates using Godzilla vs. Kong, Transformers, Popeye, Megadeth, and Azure Lane. With more than 40 unique maps with dynamic weather, the game's seas are virtually indistinguishable from the real deal. Conquer the oceans as history's most iconic battleships, destroyers, aircraft carriers, cruisers, and even submarines. World of Warships also has a large active community that brings all types of people together. Join clans to complete in competitive game modes and join the official Discord server to discuss the game further. Since the game's been launched, they've added over 600 ships across 10 different countries. The ships are even designed on historical documents and actual blueprints from the first half of the 20th century. But don't let your PC stop you from enjoying this game. You can also play on Xbox, PlayStation, and even your phone. Download World of Warships now by using that first link in the description down below. During registration, use this code here on screen to receive a huge starter pack. You'll receive a free ship, 300 balloons, 1 million credits, 7 days of premium account, and even more. So definitely go check it out. POV, your god is spamming earthquakes in the Philippines. Just literally tapping the southernmost islands in this country. Wow, it's still going! It's like they have a monopoly on this stuff. I would like to award you the highest honor I can bestow. The Canadian province of Ontario has officially become a Great Lakes state. This has got to be the greatest day of their life. They're kind of more of a great state province, but whatever. Canada literally let only them have all the lakes over here. I'm leaving. Okay, then. That was always allowed. Uh, who's there? Meanwhile, the UK. I think, uh, I think they might want back in. I like how the European Union has the flag emoji. Meanwhile, the Brits have this. All these YouTube thumbnails discussing GTA 6. Why are Americans like this? Honestly, I don't know. Am I like this? Oh my god, I am. I feel like I don't always soy face in my thumbnails. That one is a complete accident. GTA 6, but it's in Manila, Philippines. I didn't really think about it, but, uh, this is probably... Probably the closest thing to Florida that, or at least Miami, you can get. I have to admit, uh, that literally, this looks like the same exact game. Please give us the Manila DLC. Oh my god. I don't know if we can put that. <laughs> okay, someone needs to notify Rockstar immediately. What Venezuelans will see waking up the day after invading Guyana. People of Venezuela, do not interfere. Our intentions are peaceful. We are the brotherhood of oil. Literally same exact vibe. Texans bragging about how big their state is. A 12-hour drive takes you from the northern point to the southern point. Meanwhile, Western Australia. Yeah, I'm sure every time they hear this, it is absolutely hilarious. Texas is literally... No match over here. The EU, when they see Cybertruck, impressive, very nice. Now show me the safety data. Oh, I don't know if Elon was expecting anyone to ask this question. It's only a matter of time. No one, the news just before announcing an armed conflict is about to take place in the Middle East. It's always those dang commercials. Actually, not even. Sometimes news music just goes hard. A rail system older than the German Empire. Administration that runs on facts and paper. Crumbling schools and overburdened teachers. Energy costs make an industry uncompetitive, an army that can't buy upgraded equipment. Here is Germany crying about everything. Meanwhile, also Germany sitting on a AAA credit rating, millionaires wanting to be taxed, and Germany paying for politician car rides. Yes, this is a uniquely German problem. No one, Poland and Germany, since tomorrow. Oh no, please, not country humans. I can only touch this subject so much. I feel like it shaves years off my life every time I see them. You ever watch a movie or TV show and you're just like, there's something slightly off about this and then halfway through you 
realize it's Canadian. I feel like we've all been through this experience. They all have some sort of an uncanny valley vibe. Something just ain't right. The 49th parallel established by a despotic British colonizer. Meanwhile, here lies all the oil reserves stolen from Montana. Of course, it was the British that stopped Montana from being epic and giga chad. We obviously need to return them to their glory. Give us the oil. Okay, that post was obviously referring to the leader of Venezuela's logic on why he should include land from Guyana. He's also an apparent a viewer of oversimplified. Of a struggling South American country and you start getting into hot water, here's a bit of advice that has been tried and tested throughout the centuries. Start a war to distract everyone from their misery. That's a little bit too perfect. And he thought we wouldn't catch him as a subscriber. America, after Venezuela, decided to do funny against Guyana. Um, wow. And it literally, the only problem is we're hitting a lot of other South American countries from that. But, um, I, I see what the, the point of it all was. How many times are COD games going to predict the future? Babe, please stop. You're not a 1940s LA private investigator. Beat it, toots. These strengths aren't what they used to be. I don't know why that was my 1940s accent yeah see yeah how, wait how does it go again yeah see yeah that's like i can't remember <laughs> Oh, it's literally the top comment. When Theoden wakes up and everyone's like, but how do we get that dog back in him? Gandalf immediately gets that he needed to hold his sword and swish it around. And I think that's why we need more men working in mental health care. Do you realize how many of my problems would have been fixed if you just gave me a massive blade? While you were out partying, I was studying the blade. Map of Romania. Uh, it is mostly... Uh... Okay, I feel like there's something to actually learn here. I made this, says Albania, talking to Egypt. You made this? I made this. This is referring to the Egyptian leader, Muhammad Ali, not to be confused with the boxer, who helped Egypt gain their independence from the Ottomans. Uh, he was actually Albanian. He was an Ottoman Albanian governor and de facto ruler of Egypt. Also, the military commander of an Albanian Ottoman force. I guess you could say Egypt is rightfully Albanian. Australia, hey New Zealand, do you want to become a state with me? New Zealand, do you respect indigenous people? <laughs> no. New Zealand, be alive cooler if you did. This is the one thing that is keeping us from an oceanic empire down there. I guess you could also call it the Australian Federation, but I like the other name better. Going to Switzerland for the first time and trying to speak German. I've been hearing this a lot from Germans that the uh, Swiss German dialect is very confusing. I feel like literally every language has one of these. German tourists, corrects the tour guide, buys dumb made in China item to support local economy, gives valuable information to locals on how to improve their country, versus the British tour who tanks vitamin D for the whole year, spends most money on food and drinks, believes he's just in an overseas territory. Finally, the Dutch tourist, only noticed on the roads, blocking the left lane, has brought a food supply for two weeks from home, goes to restaurants just for the free water, occasionally poops on sleeping people to save water <laughs> and space. Well, that seems like fun. Which one are you choosing? These options are probably all better than the American tourists. One street of Frankfurt, Germany, will be a 30 kilometers per hour zone. No, Germany is a dictatorship now. 80% of the city of Amsterdam will now be a 30 kilometer per hour zone. Saves money and lives. Let's do it. Oh, and also lowers noise. I mean, doesn't literally everyone just bike in the city anyways? It's probably only a matter of time before they just ban cars. Ooh, we have Slovakia and Czechia, Poland, Romania, and, uh, oh, Okay. Average anime fan with all the ones you'd expect versus average Nordic animation enjoyer. I completely forgot that any animation that has to do with Lego is obviously Nordic anime. How did I not realize this? Wait, this is Nordic anime too? I don't know what show that is. That's just all over the memes. Angry Birds! Balkan verse Latin America. Great food, strong alcohol, beautiful women, and corrupt, well, yeah. Latin America really is just Balkan DLC, I think. And I'm so glad the other side of the world gets to enjoy this. American cities versus European cities. Uh... Pick your poison. American cities are sometimes so insanely gridded out, it kind of makes you lose your mind. But then again, European cities are so not that you also lose your mind. <laughs> I would get lost so easily. Ohio declares itself part of Ukraine in hopes of receiving aid. Wait, is that is that a mushroom cloud? Well, let's see how this goes. Meanwhile, Biden be like, German travel chaos blamed on lack of investment in railways. Here's an image of Germany trying to invest in railways, colorized. Man, what is that, like two euros? right there. Germany's monthly exports to the nation of Kyrgyzstan. Very interesting. Motor vehicles, machinery, and other. It really started to spike around 2022. I want
wonder what happened in 2022. Um, Germany? What are you doing? Google Maps, but it has fog of war for the places you've yet to visit. I literally need this feature, Google. Like, why haven't you got it to me yet? Like, it's actually bothering me. UK military in modern warfare. We have incredible special soldiers and easily the most important part of fighting World War III alongside USA. Meanwhile, the UK military in real life. Please, no more budget cuts. We're already barely elite. Okay, maybe this is one thing Call of Duty didn't actually predict. Ah, yes. How to find Santa's hiding place. First of all, it's difficult because his entrance is hidden by presence. And he actually has a nice snow vent and fan down here while he lays very plumply. Is this what he does when he waits for all the elves to finish making the toys? Chinese, Chinese social credit score tests begin. Who is this? That is clearly... Wait, I, I was going to go with A, but okay, 15 extra points. Uh, do you agree with him? Yes or yes? Zhang Zina, of course. Uh, Bing Chilling. I think my credit score is doing pretty... What is this? Uh, Israel, Taiwan, not a country. Not a country? Okay, yes, I would pick that in order to increase the... Oh, no. I hope Xi Jinping is not... Don't... don't wait, Kanye. Uh, it's... Don't, don't, don't do, don't do that. It's over. I'm never gonna recover from this. Talk about impossible quiz. Italians say, you can't speak my language, no problem. I speak English. Germans say, you can't speak my language, no problem. I speak English. Spaniards saying, you can't speak my language, no problem. I speak English. Then there's France, like, damn, I kinda don't care. And honestly, you gotta love it. <laughs> They're the type to make intentional grammar mistakes in English just because they don't respect the language. North Korea providing shells to Russia. Meanwhile, South Korea providing shells to Ukraine. Russia special military operation is actually just a North Korean South Korean proxy war the Cold War continues to rage on two more years bro we already waited 10 years for GTA 6 meanwhile all chess players I I just want at least one small update at least a patch nerf the Queen at the very least it's been like thousands of years POV you live in Paris okay that is definitely I have been through some very tiny elevators in Paris um, um, and in Europe in general, that's on a whole nother level. This might be the reason why they have to stay so skinny over there, or you lose your elevator privileges. Again, don't forget to check out World of Warships using that link down below. Use this Happy New Year 2024 code, and you'll receive three Santa's gift containers, the New Year Constellation flag, ten New Year's Sky camouflages, and all the things I mentioned before. I'll see you out there. My patrons on Patreon, thank you. Carino is best girl. Sebi, if you hear this, I love Jack you. Jack Draven's annoying friend. I can't sleep without Drew's Drew voice. Drew on your dad, back with the milk. Look outside. Amateur archaeology. A fat normal S. Frederick Tibble, Inquisitors, Zero Mexicans, John Denver, Reno is best. Girl. Lemons, Lines, Luxembourg, Lover, Orton, Five Six, Robert, Ryan, e, the Pie, the Great Ralphie, and Zany Boy.